looking at question number three and there's two things or three things that we need to tackle here so what what exactly does this type of question uh, identify or, or deal with it says prove that sine 2a plus 2 cos a minus 2 cos cubed a all over 1 plus sine a is equal to sine 2a now the, f the things that's involved here number one is identities this thing is saying we need to work with proving proving identities right this means I'm going from left hand side of the form equals right hand side okay for which values of a is the interval and it's also dealing with um, when the ratio is undefined okay and so we'll discuss each of these individually as we go through the questions the first part I want to tackle is how do we deal with identities how do we deal with left hand side equals the right hand side well in general we start off with something equals left hand side and then we write down what uh, the given function right and of course uh, we only take the left hand side because that's what the left hand side is equal to then we simplify okay no, 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 no. it's very important to write neatly because if you come back in a few months you still want to be able to identify what these things say and then you can check we check if it's equal to the right hand side now you can get two things sometimes it's equal to the right hand side um, then we get RHS and sometimes it's not when it's not equal to the right hand side then we can say well okay um, maybe I should work with the right hand side if I can work with the right hand side and simplify to a point where things start looking like the left hand side and I get something halfway is equal then that is also sufficient well I know right now it's just looking like theory so I can either work from the left hand side go right down to the right hand side or my alternative is to work with the right hand side um, as well as the left hand side and reach a common point when the both sides start equaling one another then that's also sufficient now usually we try to get to the right hand side and if we see if it breaks down or it fails or we can't simplify any further then we work to the from the right hand side to the same point where it doesn't simplify any further okay and from time to time you need to be creative sometimes you need to multiply by by one in a creative manner to keep everything the same uh, just to get things looking more like the other side now remember the two things I said you want to build up with doing such questions number one is foresight and number two is practice the two work with one another and this is the first type of question where we start seeing this coming into play okay so let's see what we can do we start off with the left hand side and we say is equal to sine of 2a plus 2 cos a minus 2 cos cubed a all over 1 plus sine a right now I'm not scratching my head because I don't think we can do it no nope, that's definitely not the reason okay so what do we do now well we can say Imad sine 2a has identities immediately those are things that I can identify and that's a cube right but here's a 2 cos a and here's also 2 cos cubed a now if I do you agree with me that 2 cos cubed a is actually equal to 2 cos squared a multiplied by cos a right and that's how I get the cube so I can come back here and I can say that's an identity and this here has a common factor so let's write that out that's going to be sine 2 a plus 2 cos a multiplied by 1 minus cos squared a that's been factored out because when I multiply this I get that and when I multiply the second part I get this here over here 2 cos cubed a okay now I can put that all over 1 plus sine a we might just need that space on that side 1 plus sine a okay so let's see how we can further simplify this well you can say well Imad sine 2a is also an identity so let's uh, in fact let me let me fill in that identity at once right I'm going to do it over here let's just get our red pen back and say well okay uh, oh something's bad this is all bad something's happening over there let's right there we go 
let's just extend this line and say well sine 2a is also going to be replaced by uh, 2 sine a right and remember to keep your identity sheet one that's handwritten by yourself okay so now I can say well okay this year is also an identity so let's change that I'm going to put it in blue to show everything we've already changed 2 sine a cos a plus 2 cos a multiplied by sine squared a I'm going to put a star there because that's an identity sine squared a okay all over 1 plus sine a right now look at this look carefully 2 sine a cos a 2 cos squared a sine a I mean 2 cos a times sine squared a isn't sine squared just sine a times sine a so that means this is 2 cos a times sine a times sine a and we already have 2 cos a times sine a which is this over here they just flipped they just switched around right and so let's look carefully at that that I can easily change into the following I can say well that's going to be a common factor there as well that's going to be 2 sine a multiplied by cos a right that's my common factor uh, and this over here I'm going to pull out that common factor it's going to be 1 plus I'm going to take that out and then I've got 1 plus sine a all over 1 plus sine a and I think you can see where I'm going with this right so the idea is you want to build up practice and you want to practice a lot and build up your foresight so I mean when I got here I started seeing these two steps and, and the next step and that's what we really want we want to build up our practice we want to get things wrong uh, to eventually get it right and we start seeing what works and what doesn't work that cancels and I'm now left with let's make that in blue it's going to be 2 sine a cos a and 2 sine a cos a is actually just an identity or sine of 2a and that there is equal to the right hand side QED uh, and I've proven that so, okay so that is that is question 3a in the next video I'm going to shortly look at when uh, when are such identities undefined